Hi, uh, I'm John Masters, uh, author of uh, Building Embedded Linux Systems 2nd Edition, uh, which just came out with uh, O'Reilly. Um, and I thought I'd just talk briefly about um, Embedded Linux and what it is. Um, so, um, pretty early on in the um, uh, evolution of Linux, um, uh, people would start to would look at uh, the, their Linux systems that they had on their desktops and on their servers, um, and they realized that you, know, you could really leverage the power of uh, the open source development and um, uh, Linux kernel in particular by putting it onto embedded systems. So these are you know, set-top boxes. Um, one of the earliest uh, users of um, embedded Linux was probably TiVo. Uh, back in the day, uh, they made the decision to use Linux inside their set-top box. And that was a uh, really a, a very different thing at the time. Of course, now you get mobile phones running Linux, you get uh, set-top boxes, you get scientific machinery, you get in-car, in-flight, um, navigation, um, media entertainment systems, you know, all kinds of things running Linux. Back in the day, TiVo made a really uh, kind of different decision to go with uh, embedded Linux. Um, and what that, what that meant then is pretty much what it means now. It means modifying um, the Linux kernel um, to run on something that is not, nothing like necessarily a PC. Um, it's normally a, a, a box with uh, some custom electronics inside it. Uh, it may not have a screen, it may not have a keyboard, um, and um, then uh, adding this whole uh, this whole uh, variety of software on top, uh, a whole e ecosystem of embedded Linux software exists. Uh, it's nothing like your desktop PC um, in, in many cases, um, but uh, but but it all began with uh, just a, a few vendors taking the jump, like uh, like when, when TiVo decided to use Linux.